Time goes by and we begin to see the development of, of one pipe hot water heating. This is because back then, the hot water people, particularly Mark Honeywell, were competing with the steam people. And this was actually two separate industries. You had the steam fitters and you had the hot water men. And they would, you know, the steam fitters would say, our stuff is cheaper, uh, it's, it's easier to install, which was all true. And the hot water people would say, yeah, but it also blows up your building, which, which was also true because back then they were blowing up buildings at the rate of one every 36 hours. Somewhere in America, a building blew up with a boiler explosion every day and a half. So the steam people had a dangerous thing to sell and the hot water people had something very safe, but it was expensive because you had two pipes to every radiator and, and the pipes had to be large and they had to be the same size. So there was a lot more piping. They were limited to 180 degree water if they went any hotter than that, it was liable to boil. So the temperature of the radiator was uh, was less, so the radiator had to be larger than the steam radiators that went in by the steam fitters. So much more expensive, but, but safer. So we try to come up with a way that we can have one pipe hot water heating, and that brings us to uh, to this invention. This was, this was devised by a man named Oliver Schlemmer. And he was out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and he says, let's, let's, on this particular configuration, send all the hot water up to the top. Kind of like what John Mills did with his Mills system on the steam end of things. But we'll first send all the hot water up to the high point of the system. There's going to be an expansion tank there in the attic. And then we're going to downfeed as, as, the, as the cold water falls, the hot water will work its way down following the cold water. And now you've got the beginning of modern hot water heat, because here we've got two two connections off of one pipe. So we begin to see this idea of diverting water based on delta P, difference in pressure, from one side to the other. Oliver Schlemmer. And he calls this special T that he makes the OS fitting. And this is in 1898. So Oliver Schlemmer gives us this, and this is the OS fitting. It begins to change the industry as we know it. Here's a close-up of it. I want you to just visualize. Imagine you're coming in from the bottom because that's the way the arrows are pointing in this case. And think instead of water. Make, make believe you're you're driving on the road and this is a this is a road and, and it's a highway and, and all of a sudden there's this jackknife tractor trailer laying across two of the three lanes. Well, some of the water is going to wait because it gets slowed down. It's, it's going to continue on that main road, creep along and get around the jackknife tractor trailer and go on. But some of the water over here, it's, it's smarter and it, it knows, you know, it's these are, these are the local people. They know that there's a service road that goes around. They can, they can get off the highway and get back on on the other side. So if we look here, imagine you're coming up from the bottom. Some of that water is going to go through the radiator and come out the other side. That's the service road. And other parts of the traffic flow here in the water is going to stay here and just keep going straight. So we're really talking about the difference in pressure between this point and this point versus this point over here and this point over here. So wherever the path of least resistance is, that's where the water will flow. And Oliver Schlemmer set it up with these special fittings so that the water would generally favor the radiator if, if confronted with two of these obstructions laying in the middle of the road. And then if we wanted to, to meter the flow of heat to the radiator, all we have to do is kind of jackknife another tractor trailer, which we call a valve, <laughs> we partly close that, and that increases the resistance to flow along here, which sends the water bypassing the radiator. So within Oliver Schlemmer's 1898 uh, fitting, 1899, when he starts to sell this stuff out of Cincinnati, Ohio, we see all the stuff that comes later, uh, primary, secondary pumping, uh, all these different things, one pipe steam, monoflow tees, I mean, not one pipe steam, one pipe systems, and uh, two pipe systems, it, it all begins to flow out of these ideas of Mr. Honeywell and Mr. Schlemmer back at the turn of the century.